Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Teller. Welcome back for another video on service management leadership. Today's topic is a big one. And it's big only because so many companies fail to think about this or organizations. And it's really pretty simple. Here's the thought. Whether it's change management only, or you use release and deployment along with change, or some other variety, change control only, please consider to include organizational change management, training, communication in your transition planning. And some people struggle with this only in, even in the project side, so I need to include that. Organizational change management is usually thought of as an adoption or a way to make sure that people are on board. But that's great. But we also need to make sure that everybody's trained on our new software that's going in or even the new version of that software. We also need to make sure everybody's communicated with. We, I take on IT's burdens, I guess. We in IT fail to do this. We think putting up a bumper message or sending a company-wide notification is sufficient. It is not. Part of that organizational change management is about communicating with the business, helping to understand their needs so you can have that outage at a time that's appropriate for them. This happens long before we put something into production. So I would like to, and then the, the last piece is, Make sure everybody's on board with how we're going to support this product, this new software, whatever it is. And I'd like us to consider how do we incorporate this early on, have all those meetings with stakeholders long before we get to the implementation so it's a breeze. A breeze, wouldn't that be nice? So on day three, we don't get yelled at by the business saying, I didn't know this was going to be here this day. Please include your transition documents, your service transition, as I told will call it, your service transition documentation. Have those documents. There's there are plenty of templates available on the internet. Go look at it, fill one out, and make sure all your relative, you know, all the people that need to, all the stakeholders, make sure they're good with it. How about security and corporate compliance? That'd be great for have their buy-in before it goes live, wouldn't it? So just include, be thoughtful in terms of how are you going to go through your service transition. Transitioning from your build and develop people to your operations. That's why service transition is so key in the ITSM world. And is so, uh, I want to say it's, it's mishandled at times only because it takes a lot of nuance. It takes a lot of hand-holding, make sure everybody's good before we go forward. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. I thank you all for joining us today on another video. Please like or share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Give us some feedback. We'd love to hear from you. And we do appreciate you visiting us on our channel. Have a great day.